This is the third part of the project and we're focused on tracking what happens to our direct subsidized loans. Remember these are loans given to you by the government where they pay the interest while you're in school. So you actually don't accrue any interest while you're in school. You take out these $19,000 in loans and when you graduate that's how much you owe. But after you graduate, there's a short grace period, after you graduate you start to pay interest on these loans. So let's take a look at how that works. Now, what I've set up for you in this copy is a sheet that you can work with. So if you click this little arrow right here, you can see it, it's, here it is, but you wanna copy it to your spreadsheet. So click Copy To, go to Existing Spreadsheet, and then select Your Spreadsheet. So go ahead, pause the video, go in to Canvas, or wherever I have this for you, make a copy of the whole thing, and then copy this to your spreadsheet so you have it as a template, or you could just type it from scratch. Here's all the information. Let's take a moment and do that. Okay, so I'm assuming at this point you have a copy of the spreadsheet and are ready to go. So here's everything. What I would do is I'd first copy these three values and paste them in here. And this is calling to the first sheet, sheet one, notice the exclamation point. So it's calling the first sheet and it's calling the value in E7. So it's calling the direct uh, subsidized loans that I've taken out and we delete this quotation mark and there it is. If it doesn't work for you, just make sure you're referring to the right sheet and the right cell number. The percentage value is, that's the interest rate. It's a simple interest. It's actually calculated daily and you pay it monthly. I'll explain what that means. And we're gonna assume that the monthly payment is $100, right? So these are our assumptions. For the first um, six months, let's look at the first six months first, you have no interest. So just take this and drag it down. And it's actually, this is, uh, it's a grace period essentially. And we're going to assume that you're paying $100 each, each of those six months. Let's drag that down. You could always pay more later. We'll figure that out. And the balance, the formula is right over here. Let's just scroll over so you can see. This formula takes into account E2, the remaining principal, and multiplies it by one plus whatever interest rate you have here. So the one is for the 100%, and yeah, that's 100% of what your principal was, plus the interest rate, and then minus G2, because we're taking away the loan payment. That's what our balance will be. So copy and paste that in, delete it here, boom. Now in this case, it's, we don't need that complicated of a formula because you have no interest, you pay up $100 from 19,000, you have 18,900 left. And then just drag this down, and you'll see these values work. So these cells here are always calling to the previous balance. So like in the fourth month, it calls to what, would, what was our balance at the end of the third month. So whatever number appears here, it will copy it and put it here. And that will happen each time. 18,500 appears here because this cell is calling to H6. Now for the first six months, it's nice and simple, right? You pay off $600, your loan amount uh, goes down by 600 from 19,000 to 18,400. But in the seventh month, in the eighth month, and so on and so forth, we start dealing with interest. So first I'm gonna drag these down. I just need it for these two here. And what is the interest rate? Well, it's 2.75% per year, but it actually is calculated daily. So we type in equals, refer to that cell with the dollar signs. They're referring to our interest rate. So we're always gonna to refer to the interest rate. Take that and you actually divide it by 365 days for each day. And then multiply by 30, not because we're looking at a month, but we're looking at a billing cycle. And that actually means it's not gonna line up perfectly with the year, right? Those are our billing cycles. So that tells me if you hit enter, okay, maybe it's 2.75% per year, but each month it's 0.23% about. Every billing cycle, I should say, not month, every 30 days. And our loan payment is still $100. But now our balance is not going to go down by 100. It's going to go down by less. Because before we apply that loan payment, we add the interest. So what this cell is doing, it's looking at, if you look at what it says, E8 times 1 plus F8 minus G8. E8. Here's our principal balance. We add 1, basically 1 plus 0 0.0023. So it's um, 100 and... 100.23% of this remaining principal, and then we subtract the loan payment. And you can see that the interest is about $41.59 because 
if you were to, to just subtract a hundred dollars from eighteen thousand four hundred it would go to eighteen thousand three hundred but we still have that extra forty one dollars there from the interest and then the whole process repeats so I think the easiest way to do this is now to select these three cells click this and now you can see the balance is going down but how long is it going to take let's click this and and bring it down so now we're just scrolling scrolling and we're going to check it okay so it's been 62 months and we're only at fourteen thousand nine hundred and seventeen dollars and fourteen cents and what you're going to do is keep going 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 not there yet keep going 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 and we're almost there let's see oh so now I've overpaid this could happen to you so click here 303 I'm gonna hold shift and just select until I see something close to zero almost there okay so I see it here's there's a balance of 1453 and then negative 85 uh, 44 so I'm gonna keep the very first negative value right click and delete all those rows and now it's it's placed me here and I just press control or command up and now I can see all right what's going on here there it is boom now why is it negative because think about this for a second our balance on the 244th month was only fourteen dollars and fifty three cents so if we had paid a hundred dollars it would be overpaying the balance so you always want to tweak this last row and most uh, loans will not do it this way they'll give you a set amount that'll get you really really close to zero uh, but we're going to assume a hundred which gives you some flexibility to play with this problem so this means on the last month this is our balance so we don't want the payment to be a hundred dollars as it has been we want to change that and in all of these spreadsheets, because this is an introduction, the last line uh, will be something you want to always tweak. So whatever you adjust in your balance, may, may remember that that last line is something different. What's it going to be? Well, the payment should always equal whatever your balance was times um, 1 plus the interest rate here. That's the payment. And then you see it go to zero. In other words, you're paying off the balance plus, in this case, the three cents of interest, and it brings you to zero. Now, this is too much information, too much, right? So we've got to bring it back here. And what this will do is it'll tell us how many months do we need to pay off the loan. This equation right here, max D, comma, uh, colon D, copy and paste, and then we'll talk about what it's doing. It will look at the, the column here the, for D and find out the biggest number there. In this case, it was 245. It's it wants to write it as um, two, uh, a dollar sign. So let's fix that. I think I can just can I double click it? No. So I go to format, and I just want to pick plain. So 245 months. How many years is that? Divide that number by 12, essentially. And this tells us about 20 years to pay off this loan if it's 100 dollars per month. And the total interest. Well, um, look at B7 which is the total paid for that loan. So let's do that first. Let's sum up G. If it says G colon G, it's just sum up the whole column, basically. So it's adding all the numbers in the column G, which is all the payments. So we paid $24,414.56, and the interest would be essentially that amount minus what we started with. So that's what the B7 minus B1 brings us to. And that introduces this idea that, okay, we paid five thousand four hundred fourteen dollars and fifty six cents to get this loan in other words someone who gave you this loan made about five thousand four hundred fourteen dollars and fifty six cents in this case that's uh, whoever is working um, on behalf of the federal government however they're doing that so there is a profit on that side of it and a loss for you and that's what the interest represents now what's cool about this we're going to do it right here because we're just setting it up but if you adjust this monthly payment like 200 or something you'll see these numbers change now right away they won't make sense because you have to kind of go down and figure out up oh, there it starts to get negative and you repeat that process where you select and keep the first negative balance and see what will happen but we'll do that later where we'll play with the numbers for now keep it at a hundred just so we know everything's working all right I hope this helped